All right. I was just looking at Strasburg for a second, just taking a nice little look at him. You know, my nice little diamond. <laughs> my nice little lone. Well, not. I don't know why I'm saying lone diamond. I don't know. I'm in a weird mindset right now because it's late. But we don't got many pegs to open this time, guys. Uh oh, shit. Something I should fucking announce. Creative player. He's here. I used him last year for a little bit until I revamped. This year I'm gonna use him again, and he's gonna be behind the plate. I haven't been good with Mitch Garver. So I do want to give him a chance if I'm not, if I'm not liking him down the line and I don't want to use him anymore I'll stop but for now I'm gonna bring him back because he is a fun card to use I do like bringing in my creative player and he's got a stance actually I, I was gonna say a stance I really like but I forgot to change it right now it's Gary Sheffield but that's not actually what I want to choose I was thinking about it I was like wait a minute there's one fucking guy there's one guy where it's like his dad suck on his live series, but just because of his swing, I fucking rake with him. And that's Tyler O'Neill. This guy is disgusting. The, I, the Tyler O'Neill swing, dude, it's broken. His stats aren't that great. We got equipment, though, to help him out that we pulled from packs. He's 6'4", 185 pounds, and he's age 18. Fits me across the board because, you know, I'm 6'4". No, I'm fucking not 6'4", but I'm 185. And I'm 18, so it fits. Not from California, though. I didn't really care for that. He's a switch hitter. He throws right. I'm lefty, but whatever. I, I don't care for that shit. I just um, want to make him as usable as possible. So it's going to be behind the plate because the rest of this lineup is just disgustingly good. Everyone else in the lineup is just doing insanely good. Mitch Garver was the only one lacking. Uh, well, that's pretty good, but that's honestly considered lacking on this team. Uh, the new ring season started, by the way, but we're 366 rating. Really? Oh, it just stays at 366, huh? Hmm, okay. Well, we don't got many packs to open, just because we got to open so many last episode from the second inning. There's not really much anymore. Uh, we don't got much content to grind when it comes to budget cuts, just because the grind is mostly team affinity cards and for budget cuts i'm just not motivated enough at the moment because i'm grinding on my main account and my no money spent for them and to not be able to use the money here is not motivating at all to go for them so we got two standards a gold exchange pack two rank season packs now we got two of the new headliners because i want to go for this miggy saved up a little bit for him saw what i had went for it and second inning where i'm most likely going to take jonathan scope because this card is broken he might even just slip. He might slide into the lineup over like Manny Machado. Because I know he'll show some more pop than Manny. I'll give him like a game maybe. See how he does. Uh, so this is going to be a bronze no matter what. Mark Reynolds. This is going to be a silver. We'll open this. This doesn't matter. Can't sell any of them. We'll do this. We already own Travis. Okay. Okay. Uh, this guarantees a gold, but nothing better. God, I don't want to open it because of that. Yeah, we'll open it because of that. Joey! Oh. <laughs> we'll put him on the bench. We'll put him on the bench over Matt Olsen. I struggle with Matt. I don't know if I want to start him over my outfield and my, like, infield is doing so good. God, that's a hard decision. Uh, we're going to take, oh, we're going to take scope here. I will probably start him over Mini Machado this game. Give him a shot. See how he does. Uh, let's do the two standard packs. See what we pull here. Oh, gold equipment. I'll put that on him real quick. On the creative player. Roberto Perez. Definitely a good fielder and all, but we got our mans behind there now. All right, we pull nothing. Absolutely nothing. One in ten chance for a diamond. I want this Miggy so bad. He is so good. I want him. Give him to me. Oh, no, no way, dude. Give me Mickey. Holy shit, it's actually possible. Third baseman. Wait, he's a third baseman. Oh my fucking god. We fucking got him. One sec. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Give me a minute. You're kidding. You're kidding. I actually pulled him. I bought two packs. This is why you fucking buy him in this series for me at least. 
even if I can't buy all of them, you fucking go for it. You go for it. I'm shocked. Let me take a let me take a picture of this. Guys, that is insane. If only it was for my main account. If only. My god, that is insane. <laughs> I'm fucking freaking out. I have Mickey. What do I do? My team's actually becoming stacked all of a sudden. It's not like it's like stacked. But it's to the point where it's like, I look at this team, and it's like, everybody on this team's doing really good, man. And this guy can only play third and first. He's good. Alec Baum is going to have to go on the bench. Because Miggy can only play third and first. Wow. He's got to go on the bench. Alec Baum, a fucking diamond, is going on the bench already. Dude, this is fucking insane. Miggy is on the squad. I'm going to have to debut him with this account. I'm gonna have to do that. And we pull nothing from this one. I don't give a shit. We got Miggy. I don't care. And we're gonna put Jonathan Scope over at shortstop. Give him a shot today, see how he does. We'll keep Chris Br mm. What's the, What's the point of him? Yeah, well, yeah, with Bryce Harper, that's the point. Okay. I'll stick with him then. Blind Rounds gonna stay right there. He's 0 for 1 at the moment, though. I don't know, man. Machado rakes lefties. I'm putting him in. He's been so good. He's in 6'11". 6'11". Yeah, he's staying in. All right, well, let's uh, move Miggy where he belongs. Actually, he's right now at the third spot, which is literally perfect. Two switch hitters at the bottom of the lineup. I actually really like that. But I'm going to do that. I like that more. Trying to, kind of switches it up a bit. I like it. All right. Well, we're going to stick with this squad. And, uh, yeah, let's hop into a game. We're 366 rating. Let's see how this Miggy does, boys. We get a lefty. He's got the better squad for sure, though. Damn, he's got Juan Pierre, Ricky Anderson, Barry Larkin, Juan Soto, Gary Sanchez, Matt Olson, Anthony Rendon, Justin Turner. Holy fuck. All right, he's got a fucking solid squad, and he is 10 and 5. All right, it's not terrible. We got a little we got a little game on ourselves here. Oh, my God, my catcher's going to make a play in the first inning. Create a player throws out a batter in the first inning. That's insane. Good shit. And he throws out Juan Pierre, too. He's going to hit that ball decently well, but it's going to be hit right to the right fielder, pretty much. It's going to end the inning. Quick inning, for sure. Gets a base hit, but he instantly strands that base runner. I read it wrong. But Todd Helton's going to bring in the first run. All right. We still bring in a run. Todd Helton gets a base hit. That man's sitting over 500 now, man. He's raking. All right. Let's check out Danny Dims here. Not bad. Actually, not bad. Kind of reminds me of Adley Rutschman. So to seem as that is pretty fucking good. Oh, but he swung at that. Okay. Oh, Harper's got that. I was confident Harper had that. The fuck's up with Harper in center? That's so fucking weird that he didn't get to that. I really thought he would. I really thought he was about to get to that. Huh. Good fucking pitch, man. It's a good inning. Don't play. Let's go. Good fucking shit, Brian. He hasn't been doing too good for hitting today, but he's been great in the field. He's kind of a bit more messed up, actually. Oh, that looks the same. Oh, my. You gotta be fucking kidding. Imagine your shortstop having a hustle. I can't. Fuck no, I can't. Oh, there you go, Todd. That's what you're fucking over there for. That's what that fielding's for. I'm gonna fucking love this card. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking love this card. That's a bomb. Wow. I don't know, man. Something about the Tyler O'Neill stance. It just does something. I 
Oh, that's getting down. Oh, that's getting down all right. Fuck. Oh, that still scores him. I don't know what I'm saying. Take it all the way. And, and, and it's a double even. Um, It's the same result. Fuck. How am I trying to compare this? He'll hit a double when it's just over my first baseman's head. And then you'll hit a double when it's all the way at the wall. That's just fucking like, what? Okay, Blake Snell. I don't know. He might take him out here. Nope. Oh my god, Todd Helton. Just hit a two-run bomb. Wow. Okay, just hit a two-run bomb off an up and uh, Not an up and in. A low and in. Change up. We got a five to one lead now. And Blake Snell's for some reason still isn't out of this game. Frustration. Fastball. Away. Fuck. Frustration fastball. Nope. Crushed it, though. I fucking love it. Tyler O'Neill's swing, dude. Holy fuck. I am so glad I got this on my creative player. Oh, Chris Bryant. Two run, no run. My God. No mercy. What the fuck is that? What is that animation? That is dog shit. That is such a dog shit animation. So I kicked this guy's ass. In the bottom of the seventh. And now he's gotten a blooper and a bullshit animation to get on base twice. And actually be possibly dealing damage. And now that he's uh, swung and missed twice in a row. Now it's on two strikes. Ah, oh, fuck, he didn't swing at that. Yeah, I kind of fucked up on the, re the release. But I'm going to throw it again. And what's going to happen is he's going to foul it off. Oh, shit, he's not. That's actually uncommon as fuck. Oh my god, Miggy, there it is. Perfect, perfect. No fucking doubt about it. Holy fuck, that was nice. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was a piece of art. Ho! Oh, it's a bomb, Matt Olson. What the fuck else is new? <laughs> is that the. Yeah, that's the 80. Uh. Seven? I got a bit of a brain fart. I don't remember if he's an 87 or an 89. Considering I know that he's like a really good fielder and he rakes, I'm gonna assume he's an 89. There we go. That's gonna end the game. We went at 9 to 2. Steven Strasburg doesn't really go deep into the game. He only went seven innings. He did really good in those seven innings, and they called it an earned run. That is weird that they do that. But, uh, oh, wow. Todd Hilton only got two hits, huh? Thought he did more than that. Yeah, but after seven innings, I was like, yeah, you can see right there. Bottom of the seventh, we got the five-run inning. I was smart to fucking go ahead and bring in uh, Manny Machado. Uh, but, yeah, Miggy ends up going three for five with a home run and RBI. Todd Hilton goes two for five with a home run and three RBIs. Chris Bryant, man, fucking comes in and destroys the baseball. Three for four, the home run, a double, and two RBIs. And then Danny Dims in his first fucking game gets player of the game. I'm telling you, man, this guy's going to rake. I love the Tyler O'Neill stance. In fact, he should have went four for five with his last swing there. But, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hit thumbs up button. If you did enjoy, subscribe more content like this. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.